Hello, welcome back to the Maid of Farewell Heights. Um, so it turns out this place not only has ghosts, but demons too. Awesome. Alright, there better not be any ghouls or ghosts inside. Or goblins. Huh, how anticlimactic. I'm coming in now. Oh, fancy. Ah, looks like a fortune teller lives here. Hmm? Is that a poltergeist? It stopped. Hmm? Kitty! Welcome to the wizard's room. Sheesh, it's just a toy cat. I am not a toy cat. I am Jin, the spirit of fire. Oh? For real? Surprised? Surprised? Do you want to hear the jar jostle again? Now what should I clean first? Why would you not believe me? The quicker I get this over with, the quicker I can be together with my darling. Do not ignore me! God, I don't care if you're a stray or some kind of imp. You just stay out of my way while I clean. Stray? Imp? For your information, I'm a fire genie. As my first trial straight out of the world of demons, I was told to watch over this place. Ergo, I became the wizard of this room. Who cares? Being an impish kitty wizard genie or whatever. All I know is that's a load of baloney. Ugh. Moving along now. I do just have one teeny problem. Please, oh beautiful maiden of the cleaning business, lend me your strength. Huh? Beautiful maiden? <laughs> you smooth talker, you. Go on, kitty imp. Tell this beautiful maiden what's troubling you. Thank you. <clears throat> if you have a moment, please play a game with me. Are you kidding me? Come on, come on, let us play, please. Oh, pretty please. Hello, I'm in the middle of work here. I don't have time for this. Great, it's time to play Spot the Difference. I'm not listening to you, la la la. But there is a marvelous prize involved. And now he's talking to a bag. Abracadabra. Ha 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 ha! Oh. Oh, you turned her into a magical girl. Uh, just like another certain cat can do. With the powers imbued in, imbued into your new magical girl costume, you can change into your favorite cosplay outfits with one wave of that magical stick I gave you. As if I'll change in front of you, try and join the view down there. Will you please play with me? <laughs> Yay! Now let me explain the rules. And he's back to talking in the bag. A replica of this room will manifest below the screen. Screen? What screen? Okay, lean on the fourth wall. But, 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 this other room is not an exact replica. There are some changes if you look closely enough. You must find six differences between the two rooms. You have one minute to find them all. But do not go examine happy now. You'll be penalized ten seconds per mistake you make. Also, please refrain, refrain from lingering too long. See, if you finish my game quickly enough, I'll give you a very special reward. Work hard. Talk to me whenever you're ready to play. Okay, you can stop that. I want to go ahead and save, actually. Brought his tummy. Stop that. <laughs> Huzzah! Let us start the Spot the Difference game! Um, okay. Um, let's see, I know the gargoyle statue. Shelf. Looks the same. Looks the same. So 
as I can tell. There's still three... How are there... Oh, wait. Their time is up. Too bad. Would you like a rematch? Focus pause. <laughs> Good luck. else see anything? I'm gonna feel like an idiot when I do see what the see what the last one is. Oh, what the the crystal ball? It didn't look different. Congratulations! Not bad at all. Not bad. Huh, this is more exhausting than maid work. Also, I'm super duper happy. Say, I got a great idea. Wanna play again? Say what? If you can spot the differences even faster, I'll give you that very special reward I mentioned earlier. Hip hip hooray! You're amazing! Okay, now I now I saw the difference between those. It, that one was extremely subtle. Congratulations! I've never seen anyone so light on their feet before. <sighs> Want to play again? Why would I do that? Oh, then are you truly done playing? Of course I'm done now. Where's my reward? Huh? Reward? Did I hear what I think I heard? Oh, there was no reward, was it? You're not full of stuffing. You're stuffed full of crap, Kitty Imp. Oh, you mean that reward. Here you go. Now what do I have here? Oh, not this. Not this one either. Hmm, what else is here? Why am I starting to have a bad feeling about this? Ah, here it is. Found it, found it. 
It's a scandalous photo of farewell. Oh, that's farewell. Why is he dressed in drag? Is he not just the cutest thing? Here, he's all yours. Obtain farewell's scandalous photo. Magenta definitely suits him. I didn't know Mr. Manager was into this kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, now I can go on to the next room. Huh? <clears throat> I understand. Thank you for playing with me. No problem. Bye now. Man, oh man, what a day. So what's going to be the deal with this next room? Please come in. I know that voice. Hmm. I'm coming in. Oh. Welcome! You again. Oh, it's you again. Huh? Are you not happy to see me again? Oh, totally. Woohoo. Totally over the moon. Oh, you're too kind, too kind. So tell me, why out of everyone in this complex are you in this room? Are you stalking me? The best kind of stalker. <laughs> Do not look at me like that. I was only kidding, mind you. I was asked to watch over this room. Speaking of which, this room looks awfully like a shop. Correct, it is an establishment. Therefore, that means... And not again! Hot, hot, hot! Hey, isn't this... The proprietor of this room is Alice. I would like for you to run her shop. Despite what you may think, I'm not a jack-of-all-trades kind of gal. I'm a cleaner. Well, how about you clean out shop with a clean rent sale? I think that sounds about right with you. With that, good luck! <laughs> well, I have nothing better to do. So I think I'll take a quick trip back to the world of demons to go do some playing. Oh, no, you don't. Stop right there. Impulsive little cat. <laughs> Aw. Pocket watch. Any pocket watch. Give me one pocket watch right this instant. Oh. Okay. Um. A pocket. Oh, pocket watch. An antique old pocket watch. Sorry for the wait. Here you go. One pocket watch. Uh, that's it. Much thanks. Oh, my horns and tusks. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Give me five candies and six apples. Thanks for waiting. Awesome sauce. May I please have a tea set for 13 guests and seven cakes to go with that, ma'am? Seven cakes. Here's your order, sir. Thirteen tea sets and seven cakes. Marvelous. Thank you. Thanks to you, the party can begin without a hitch. Nice to see you. Oh, what did we hear? We have a new sales lady here today. Should be a peach and get me 100 white roses and 26 decks of playing cards. Okay, here's the oops. Here's the playing cards. So Twenty-six. And uh, where are the roses? Is it? Is it? Oh, okay. One hundred white roses along with twenty-six decks of cards. Thanks. I'll be back. Ciao. Okay, 
give me 50 heart chocolates and 602 white spotted red mushrooms. Yeah, these get pretty, uh... These get pretty complex. Kiki! How many red mushrooms? 602. Here's your 50 white chocolate hearts and 602 red and white spied mushrooms. <laughs> Ooh. The most beautiful queen of swine desires 7,280 red luscious roses, as well as one castle. Oh. Oh, what now? Who could be calling at a time like this? Hello? Oh, my dear Marsh, I haven't heard from you in ages. Are you doing all right? Sheesh, Nibbles, you're like a broken record. You, you there, what are you doing? Chop, chop, my demands must be fulfilled. Or else it's off with your head. Off with your head? Yeah, I hear that. I'm a tad busy at the moment. Ta-ta. But my dear Marshy, can't you at least tell me what's going on? Marshy, I... Man, can't he see him swamped? Red roses was 7,280. <laughs> And miniature castle. Terribly sorry for the interruption earlier. Here's your order of 7,280 red roses and one castle. Oh, oh! I'm gonna enjoy giving this castle the Rigo Romp and smash it flat, just like when I was a piglet. I would like one baby and one apple. A baby? Um. We sell babies like this? There, there, little one. Come over to your big sister, Marshy. Wah, wah. Somehow the baby's lovely cries made the apple fall off the tree. Good. Then the apple hit the lovely baby straight in his little noggin and quieted him down for good. Oh my god, we killed it. Oh my god, are you okay, baby? Uh, this isn't a real baby. It's just a toy designed to look like one. Dang, sure fooled me. Contained a lovely baby and an apple. Two birds, one stone. One lovely baby and one apple. Oh, I didn't expect for this baby to be so amazingly quiet, you know. Ah, well. I'm dry, drying up. Give me a bottle filled with tears. Oh, we got a bottle. Obtained empty bottle. Tears not included. How should I fill up this bottle? Fill it with river water, fill it with your tears. Notice the water is actually cascading off an eye. So it probably counts, but... Okay, I'm gonna try to use my own tears to fill up this bottle. Okay, Marshy, time to think of something really sad. <laughs> Please don't die on me, my darling. No, you can't die on me. You promised me. You promised me we'd be together forever. <laughs> Marshy, what are you doing? You sure look like an idiot. Plus, ew, I got some saliva mixed in there. Uh, try again. Yeah. Okay, Marshy, this time try to imagine the worst tragedy you'll ever face. No, 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 stop it, Nibbles. You can't cut my paycheck. Uh, with my pay talk, how can I possibly afford to support my darling now? And back into reality. Crap, the bottle isn't even close to being filled with tears. Damn it, use river water already. Let's fill this baby up the river. It's coming out of an eye anyway, so close enough. Just a little more. There, all filled up. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Aww. Finally got the job done. Well, what do you know? I guess I did fill it with my own tears after all. Here you go, bottle filled with tears. <gasps> go, go. Oh, 
Oh, I feel alive again. Hiya! Oh, looky loo, my froggy poo. What do you think? What should we get, dear? I wonder, Ribbit. How about 43 blue striped mushrooms, my wormy squirmy? Hey, how manly of you! As for little old me, I would like some golden yellow mushrooms. Oh, make that four of them. Okay, um... Please don't kill me! Uh, 43. And, uh... <sighs> Chomp. Ouch! Yeah! Okay, he didn't like being kicked. Hit it. Uh, oh, wait a second. Obtain knife. It slices, it dices, but can it make julian fries? No, but it might make sliced mushrooms. Slice and dice! Four golden yellow mushrooms for the lady, and 43 blue striped mushrooms for the gentleman. Ribbit, I got a croak. My dragon is starling will foot the bill. What the hell, dear? Now, hold on a minute. Come back here. Oh, you again. Oh, hey, gloves. 25,007... Wait, 257,318 of them. And flamingos, too. 940,631 flamingo stat. Good grief. Uh, let's see, two. 57,000. And pink plastic flamingos. 940,000. 631. Here you go. Let me tell you, no one needs this many gloves or flamingos. Whew, your lifesaver. Thank you very much, miss. Now me can keep head on shoulders another day. Thank you very much for your patronage. Whew, is it time to close up shop yet? Whew, I'm raking in the dough. Made some big profit by selling those items in bulk. With this much cash, I could... <laughs> I have the power to have my way with my beloved darling. I can do anything I want with him. Oh my. And then I'll force him to dress up in all sorts of things for my own pleasure. Your darling sounds like a lucky guy. Ah, oh, bad Marshy, you gotta remember, this isn't your money. This money belongs to Alice and her shop. Therefore, I gotta put this big wad of cash right in the register. I'm so tempted to shove this into my pocket. Steal the money, casually put in your pocket. Five finger discount that loot. I'll bet Alice wouldn't mind if I help myself a little bit. From this point on, she was known as the Master Thief, Marshmallow San Diego, undoubtedly the greatest thief of all time. What? Stop right there! Don't you move a muscle! Uh, oh shit. Busted. H who is that? I'm right over here. Huh? A teddy bear? Well, it is the only thing left in the shop that hasn't been sold. Mm. I am Alice. I am the resident of this sh room and the owner of Alice's shop. <laughs> no, wait. Weren't you supposed to be out on an errand or something? Apparently not, as I was here in my shop the whole time. Seriously? Could have sworn that Jin was asked to watch over this place. 
Well, he was lying. That darn cat always playing tricks on people. He even put a curse on me, forcing me to take the form of a stuffed bear. He actually did that to you? I couldn't move an inch in that pile of fluff. So I was in a heap of trouble when customers started coming in. And here I was thinking I was the only victim in Jin's games. Once you had sold all of the commodities in my shop, the curse lifted. Thanks to you, I was able to return to my former self. I'm glad I was able to help you out. However, ah, I think it's time I return the money. Sound good? I was just daydreaming out loud. Honest to God, I beg of your forgiveness. Oh, my stars, take it easy. Lift up your head, dearie. Go ahead and keep the money. It's my gift to you for working so hard. Why, are you serious? Ah, uh, but this is just way too much money for me. Take it. Money has no meaning to me now. My health is failing. I feel I'm not long for this world. Uh, that can't be. What'll become of your shop? I'm afraid it will have to close down. So I take solace in the fact that everything's sold out. Listen, there's a hefty price to pay for making a deal with those from the world of demons. They will cut away at your life. Please convey this warning to that farewell boy. You mean Mr. Manager? Hmm. Meanwhile, in the world of demons... I have to confirm this right away. Oh look, it's Luna and Artemis. Oh, oh, we're actually controlling her. Oh, there's Jin. I wonder what I'll get for supper. My lord White Peach, my lord Blackberry. What is it? You're making quite a ruckus. What's wrong, Undertaker? What are you doing back here? You still haven't managed to bury the human world of darkness. I'm deeply sorry, but... Was that prophecy really true? Are you trying to say that my divinations are wrong? I would never. That would be absurd, my lord. It's just that something unexpected came up. <laughs> Ignorant fool. A shame you seem to be the only one in the dark. The human man, farewell, whom you call your big brother, is not your other half, but in actuality the holy girl is. Holy girl? You mean that wretched marshmallow holly? What did I tell you? My divinations are never wrong. In an old des in an old building above ground, you are destined to meet your other half. That's precisely what I said, and so it has come to pass. This holy girl, she is the light from which you are cast, O Shadow. The other half of your own reflection. She is your twin. You jumped to the wrong conclusion. You decided on your own that the human boy was the one prophesized. That cannot be. No way. You mean to tell me that girl, she's my... You got it now? Good. Now get your butt back up there. I concur. Return back and claim that girl's soul. When you were born, God was afraid of you and divided your soul into two separate fragments. As you stand now, you only have one half of your true power. He is correct, you know. You are not at your full potential. Go forth, take back your soul, and restore yourself to your full glory. Once that is accomplished, you will have all the power you need to truly bury the human world in darkness. Without fail, my lords. Oh, jeez. Are those, are those ghost mice? They kind of look a little translucent. Oh, finally, the third floor. And no Mr. Manager in sight. I'm quite surprised. I wonder where he went off to. Could it be... Did he run away under the cover of night? Ah, well, here we go, the final room. Which we will do next time. I'm playing a game.